Well, good day to you wherever you are. You join us on a day where the weather just may have an impact on a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway and certainly by the time of the second half. The crowd, though, are here and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific and kickoff is moments away. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. How are you reading this formation, Jim Begley? Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too and that has an obvious flexibility about it it's a it's a popular managerial selection because of that it's just extremely flexible with all the numbers i've mentioned and we're underway hoist it forward Good ball, it's found its target. That intervention was very necessary. Perisic. And it's played forward. it upfield Perisic nicely controlled great leap goal Inter there is the breakthrough Inter are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Into Milan, go ahead, one goal to the good. Martinez, over to the left. Gets away from his opponents. Perisic gets it into the middle. And he's there to clear it. Beautifully done. Good save. He got a decent fist on that. Torino have it back and they can go again. Ranocchia plays it forward. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Just brushed off the ball there. Tries to get it forward quickly. And he's made sure that that won't get through. And it's Perisic. Perisic with the crossfield ball. Tries to get it clear. Corner given. Cleared away. A oh, nice touch. Ball's loose. Who's getting there?
Bellotti. Pacino. Shell into Milan. Now looking odds on to go in at the break with their advantage intact. Oh, good interception. Back to the keeper and try something new. Steered forward. Uh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Chino. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. And we hit half time. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Into Milan, and they have the lead in a tight old game. Half-time, 1-0. If you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Into Milan, carrying a one-goal lead. Martinez, done very well to intervene. Forward it goes. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Chelhanolu. Belotti looks to dink one in. Keeper's got good distance on that. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, and the creator-in-chief is unsurprisingly being treated as a special case now. Heads it! Rodriguez tries to get it forward quickly. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication. Just the goalkeeper to... Has a pop! Sticks it away! Two up now, and they are cruising. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Dzeko showed real composure then. I mean, how often do you see a player do everything right until he gets into the box, only to completely kind of fluff the finish? Not him. So here comes the substitution. <laughs> Into Milan, get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal has such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. And it's Dzeko. Here it comes. Up to meet it! And the follow-up! And it's there! And surely that settles it! Martinez did well there. He was onto it in a trice.
I doubt he'll score too many, which come easier than that, Peter, but just look at his movement. He knew instinctively that the keeper would struggle to hold on to it. changes then in quick succession three without reply this is becoming a stroll well unsurprisingly Peter the opposition looked completely stunned I'm not sure they can gather themselves Vidal drives it forward and no that is pretty much the end of that Hoists it forward. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Vidal. Jacko. Vidal. Vidal! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Torino making another change here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Stefan de Vrij. Inter Milan are closing in on a comfortable win. And it's played forward. Battles to win it back. And Saldi, and Saldi goes looking. And here's Zaza. Defense has got rid of that. Gets it back. Has a pop! Standing save to keep that out. The Nokia. Vidal. Chalhanolu. Out to the right. This official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. And that is that. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Inter simply made their superiority count. They found cruise control quite early and, and didn't need to go to turbo. And that's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.